Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop and today I'm going to show you uh, quickly how to use the crop tool in Photoshop. Um, this over here is the crop tool. It's just that, that little rectangle or square thing. Um, it's hard to explain what it looks like, but here it is. So I'm clicking on it. Um, if you right click on it, you'll see some other options. Um, if So if you see another button over there, just hit crop tool. Okay, so up here along this panel is how you will adjust um, your crop. The first one is unconstrained, and this just means that you can make it any size, any dimension, or ratio, or whatever that you want just by dragging. Um, I don't use unconstrained only because I like to maintain the original ratio that the photo was shot in, and so I use original ratio. And this will make sure that it stays no matter where you try to drag, it'll either go vertically with those dimensions or it can go horizontally with those dimensions, but it will stay at the original ratio of the photo that you're using. And, okay, then there's more. You can come over here and you can um, select square if you want a square crop. Um, and then there's some other set sizes in here. Or you can type in what you're wanting. I know some people use the 11 by 15 crop. So you can come in here and put those, put 11 in one, 15 in the other, um, and hit enter. Or um, you can also use this little circular arrow right here, which will make it go vertically or horizontally. It'll just switch the dimensions for you. And then once you like the way it looks, just hit the check mark and your photo has been cropped. Now, up here, you can see that it says delete cropped pixels. Um, this just means, let's undo the adjustment we just made. If we uncheck delete crop pixels um, and then we crop our photo by hitting, well, let's make sure it selects, okay, and then hit the check mark. Then let's say later on we're like, oh, you know what, I don't really like this crop. You can um, go back into your crop tool and you can stretch the edges and it will reveal your original dimension photo. And so this is great if you're unsure on the crop and you want to just check it out for a little while, make some adjustments and see what you think. Um, that way you can still go back to your original if you, if you don't like the crop that you made. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.